Hello, and welcome back to chapter one of our basic elementary course. And this chapter is called Timetable Tip. Moving on to the next slide, we have a warm up, and we are asked to put these activities in the correct order from the first to the last. I'm just quickly going to read through them, and you are welcome to read along with me. Get up, get dressed, wake up, go to the bathroom, have or take a shower or bath, take breakfast, brush your teeth, and go to work or school. Now, these list of activities can vary depending on the person. The order could be different too. Normally, everyone would wake up, get out of bed, and the list from there on can change. Now, we are also asked to answer these questions so that they are true for you specifically. Question number one, what time do you get up? Do you wake up early in the morning? Do you wake up closer to lunch? Do you wake up maybe in the afternoon, depending if you are working or studying during the night? And the second question says, do you have a shower or bath before breakfast? Some might prefer to do it before breakfast. Some might have breakfast first and have it later. Some people even have a shower or bath at night once they've come back from work, university, school, and so on. The third question asks if you have an alarm clock. Now, some people are gifted. They can sleep through the night and wake up in the morning on time and go to work, school, college perfectly without using an alarm clock whilst others might struggle to sleep at night and they need to use an alarm clock so they are able to get up on time. The next question, what do you usually have for breakfast? Some people might stick to the traditional stuff such as cereal, some people might have toast, and this varies as well dependent on the person. And at Ask Academic, we encourage you to answer this as we said, as I've said, and mentioned before so that they are true to you. Moving on to the last question, do you brush your teeth before you get dressed? Now this one could be again specific to the person where some people like to brush it before they get dressed so they do not get any toothpaste on their uniform or their clothing in general and others might brush after they get dressed. Maybe they're a little bit neater and careful while doing so and wouldn't spill anything onto their clothes. So once again, this varies. So what you can do is pause the video, answer these questions, and we will proceed with the next slide. Okay, so let's continue. Moving on to this slide, we have a reading, so there's going to be a comprehension. And we are instructed to read about Tim's day and answer the questions on the following page. So firstly, I'm going to read through the passage, and then I will ask you to pause the video, read through the passage again yourself, just to make sure there isn't any material that you may have missed. And I'm also gonna prompt you and let you know that there are questions that follow thereafter. So I want you to pay attention while I read through the passage. Okay, let's begin. Every day, Tim wakes up at 5.30 when his alarm clock rings. He gets up and goes to the bathroom and has a long, hot shower. After that, he makes toast for him and his wife, Betty. Tim has coffee and two slices of toast, and Betty drinks a cup of tea and eats a bowl of cornflakes. At six o'clock, Tim brushes his teeth, always before he gets dressed, because it is very important that he doesn't get toothpaste on his clothes. I'm just going to pause here. As I've mentioned earlier, this is why some people prefer to brush their teeth before getting dressed so they don't mess up their new clothes. Okay, Tim is a train driver and he wears a uniform. Finally, he kisses his wife and baby son and leaves his house in Watford at a quarter past six. 
so he leaves quite early in the morning and most likely would get stuck in traffic. Continuing, Tim starts work at 7 o'clock and drives trains on the London Underground. Aha, so Tim is from London. He could probably be British and he usually works in the morning from Monday to Friday, but he sometimes works on weekends too. Uh, so this job is not a regular Monday to Friday job because they do require him to work on weekends. So Tim is quite a busy man. At noon, he stops work for half an hour to have his lunch. He eats cheese and tomato sandwiches, which Betty makes for him. And he drinks a bottle of milk. After lunch, he works until four o'clock and then he goes home. In the evening, he plays with his baby son, Ben, and watches TV with Betty. At 10.30, they all go to bed because they are very tired and because they have to get up so early in the morning. As you can see, Tim has a full schedule and he works through everything during the day. Now, I would like you to pause the video and read through the passage again and then we're going to move on with the questions. Welcome back. Let us proceed with the questions. We have reading again. Now, question number one. What time does Tim get up? If you do not remember, you are welcome to look at the previous slide and it will give you the information. So I want you to take a look here and find the answer and write it down quickly. Okay, the second question is, does he have a shower slash bath before breakfast? Once again, you are welcome to look at the previous slide and jot down your answer before we move on with the next question. Okay, question number three, does he have an alarm clock? Good. Moving on with question number four. What does he usually have for breakfast? Now, if you cannot remember, as I mentioned earlier, look at the previous slide before jotting down your answer and we can move on to the final question. Okay, so does he brush his teeth before he gets dressed? I want you to look at the previous slide again if you cannot remember. Okay, now if you need more time, you are welcome to pause the video, answer the questions, check through the slide again, and I'm going to proceed by giving you the answers. You are welcome to check them and see if you had the similar or same answers. Okay, what time does Tim get up? If you look at the very first sentence, it mentions that Tim wakes up at 5.30. The second part of the sentence also answers the third question. His alarm clock rings. And the third question is, does Tim have an alarm clock? So with the first sentence, you already know the answers to question one and three. Question two, does he take a shower before or bath before breakfast? And if we skim down the list, it says that Tim goes and has a long hot shower as soon as it gets up. So it is before breakfast. Okay, does he have an alarm clock? This is answered. We're going to proceed to question four. What does he usually have for breakfast? And sure enough, the sentence over here states that Tim has coffee, two slices of toast, and it also states what Betty has for breakfast. Okay. The final question, does he brush his teeth before he gets dressed? If you remember, I mentioned that Tim does not like to get toothpaste on his clothes. So he brushes his teeth before he gets dressed. I want you to compare your answers. And if you have everything right, congratulations. If not, it's fine. As long as you are able to identify your mistakes. We are now going to move on to grammar and practice. And the instructions state to look at the questions 
in part A and part B. What is the difference? And it also wants you to complete the rules about questions would do or does. So as you can see, part B is the reading and it's focused on the comprehension. And part A is basically the question asking about what a person does and it's specific to you. So that will also be the difference. I want you to also find out other differences and then we can move on. Okay, when the subject of the question is I, you, we, they, use the auxiliary verb do. Okay, so for example, I do like you. You do look good. We do homework together. They do like films. See what I mean? Those are my personal examples and I want you to write down your own examples and practice this as we move along. The second part states, when the subject of the question is he, she, Jake, Mary, Jennifer, it could be anyone, use the auxiliary verb does. He does like films. She does like dogs. John does like going for a long walk. Mary does the washing daily. Once again, I want you to make your own examples and we're going to then proceed with writing the questions for these answers about Tim and his family. Welcome back and we're now going to write down the questions for these answers about Tim and his family. I'm going to read through the answers as well as part of the questions that are given to us and I want you to then pause the video and try and figure out the questions on your own. Once you're done, you return to the video and I'm going to give you the answers. Okay, let's continue. For the first one, we are given Tim brush his teeth and the answer at six o'clock. For the second, Tim and Betty live, the answer in Watford. The third, Tim dash work, the answer at seven o'clock. The fourth, Tim dash work at noon, the answer to have lunch. And the fifth, Tim and Betty dash to bed and the answer 10.30. So pause the video and come up with your own questions and I'm going to give you the answers thereafter. Okay, welcome back. And now we are going to compare answers. Let's start with number one. When does Tim brush his teeth? That's the correct question. Moving on to number two. Where do Tim and Betty live? Question three. What time does Tim start work? Question four. Why does Tim leave work at noon? And question five, what time do Tim and Betty go to bed? So compare your answers and let me know how you guys did. Okay, now we have reached the end of chapter one and this was great with you and I'm looking forward to seeing you in chapter two. So goodbye for now.